Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16, an amazing iOS update. Even though we didn't get a redesign on iOS, we got a lot of features. I believe there are more than 400 different features that Apple has added to iOS 16, but not just the number of features, the quality of these features is amazing. So in this video, I will share with you guys 10 iOS 16 features that I believe are some of the best iOS features that Apple has released in the past few years and that you will find very useful. And once you have this update on your device, you will use them on a daily basis. Before I start with the first feature, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching the video and you're still not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the newest feature that actually was added with iOS 16 beta 5. I'm pretty sure everyone has already heard about this feature is the battery percentage on the SAS bar. Now that's actually very, very useful. If you have an iPhone that you don't have the percentage on the status bar right there, of course, the newer iPhones, you know that you will actually have to go to the control center every time you wanna take a look at the battery percentage, or you will have to have one of these widgets on the home screen of your device. And even if you're on an app, you wanna take a look at the battery percentage, you would have to go out of the app in order to do that. Now with iOS 16, we have the battery percentage, which can actually be enabled by going to settings, battery, and then just enable the battery percentage right there. Now you can see right there, it shows the number of percentage in that white icon right there, it will turn yellow once you have enabled low power mode on your device. Just like that, while you're charging, it will turn green and you will have the charging indicator. And when the battery is low, it will actually show red. Next up is Wi-Fi passwords. With iOS 16, now you will be able to actually see the passwords of the Wi-Fi you're connected to. Of course, as long as you have entered the Wi-Fi passcode, for a wireless network while you're connected on it you can tap the little i button and then just tap on the password right there authenticate with your face id and this then will show the password for that network and also give you the ability to actually copy that password so you can easily maybe save it somewhere or share it with someone else the next one is the ability to send emails now this one is very very useful all you have to do is compose an email. Once you're done with everything, you have added the receiver right there, of course, the text and the thing you wanna send. All you have to do is just tap and hold right there, the send button, and now you will get options. So you will have send now, send tonight at 9 p.m., send Monday, in this case at 8 a.m., that's really cool. This is pre a preset, of course. Now we are on the weekend, it will show you Monday there really nice and then you can also tap on send later now here you can choose any date you want of course choose any time you want and then just tap the dumb button and this allows you to actually send that email on that scheduled time and date which is very very useful next up is contacts list this is very very useful it allows us to organize your contacts into lists very easily and then you can use those lists of course to email those contacts all at once or send a message to all of them on that list of course we have different groups of contacts we have family friends maybe co-workers and you can just go ahead and easily organize them into different lists so you can see right here we have a few lists now you can have access to these on the phone app by going to the contacts section or from the contacts app of course you want to add a new list simply tap right there enter the name and just pick the contacts from your contacts list now if you have a list here all you have to do to send an email to all of these just tap that little button right there you can you're good to go you can send right here any email you want and of course all of them will receive the same email but what you can do is also from the list here just 3d touch on any of your groups and then you can go ahead and message all of them on iMessage directly from here. And this right here is a feature that most people will love. The ability to actually have hidden photos on your photos app. Now that hidden album is locked with your face ID. Of course that was there before but was actually useless without a face ID lock. Now the same goes for recently deleted as well. The recently deleted photos 
and the hidden photos are now protected with your Face ID. There was actually no sense having the hidden album there if you just couldn't lock it on any way with a passcode or Face ID. Now with iOS 16, the only way to access the hidden photos and the recently deleted is of course by using Face ID. Now the Photos app actually got some very very useful features on iOS 16 and one of them that will help a lot of users save a ton of space on their device is the ability to find duplicates and merge them automatically. So you go right here under the utilities and go to duplicates. You can see what it does right here, it will find all the photos that you have duplicates of on your iPhone and you can just tap merge right here, you can see it will merge those, it will of course save one and delete the other one. It usually saves the one that is better quality and what you can do here is of course select, you can do that like you can do that manually of course select each one of them and delete them from here. That's also very easy to do and if you just have the three dots right there you can also filter them so if you just want to see photos or just videos you can do that from here. So a very very nice way to actually merge duplicate photos you can see right here we can just select all of them and do that all at once tap on merge and you're good to go. Now here's one of my favorite features of iOS 16. It's on the Photos app as well. So now you can search photos based on text that's on that photo. With iOS 15, you will be able to do this only from the spotlight search and the results are really not that great. It won't show you all the photos that have that text. But in this case right here, I have searched for settings. You can see it will find me all the photos that have the word settings on them. If I tap right here, you can see we have here 41 photos all that contain the word settings on them. Now, If you're trying to actually find a screenshot or maybe a text that you have saved into a photo, this will be a lifesaver. It will help you find your photo in a matter of seconds. And while we're talking about screenshots, you know that iOS users have a ton of screenshots on their device. Nowadays when you're talking to someone, you want to tell them something, show them a picture or something, the easiest way for most people is just to take a screenshot and send it. But that screenshot will be saved on your photos library and of course most of the times you will forget to actually delete it after you have sent it to someone that will take a ton of space on your device. Well with iOS 16 we have now a really great feature take a screenshot, all you have to do is tap the dump button right here and you can now copy and delete. What this does, copies the screenshot to the clipboard of your device so you can just go ahead and paste it on any message you want and then of course deletes it directly from your device so it doesn't save on the photo library and take up a ton of space. Moving on to the iMessage app for the last two features, you can finally edit sent messages. So you send a message, you can just go ahead, tap and hold on it and tap the edit button right here and you can edit that message as easy as that. What you can also do is unsend message. That's a new feature with iOS 16 as well. So just tap undo send right there. You can see the message will disappear and it will undo that send message. These are two of the most useful features that Apple has added to the iMessage app on iOS 16. So that is it for this video guys. These are 10 of the best iOS 16 features that I believe are also some of the best features that Apple has added to iOS in the past few years. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.